Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I will talk to you about some important tips to maintain the lifespan of your phone battery, and thus make the battery last and work longer. To make your mobile phone work well, you must maintain the phone battery. It is important to know that the vast majority of cell phones use lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion offers many advantages, such as its higher energy density smaller batteries, which in turn means lighter, and sleeker phones but these batteries still inevitably degrade with use. Anyone who has used a mobile phone for many years may notice that their battery life seems to get shorter over time. And it may only last half a day even after a full charge. This is because every time your lithium-ion battery charges, and discharges energy, it loses how much charge it can hold. Therefore, I will give you some ways that enable you to preserve the phone battery, and make it work in its best condition for as long as possible. First tip. Keep your battery from going to 0% or 100%. This advice is the first step in preserving the phone battery, and it is very important. Some people think that the best way to keep a battery healthy is to fully charge, and discharge it. That is, he leaves the phone in charging until it reaches 100%, and does not charge it again unless it reaches 0%. This is one of the most common mistakes. And this habit was working with old batteries. Now, lithium-ion batteries don't work that way. If you do, you stress the lithium-ion battery even more, and reduce its life by doing this. Fully discharging the battery at 100% compared to 60% can cut the battery life in half. Because lithium-ion batteries come under the most stress when they're fully charged or fully drained the best approach is partial charging. Ideally you should charge your battery up to about 80%, and avoid having it drop lower than 30%. If this isn't practical, try to aim for a maximum of 90%, and to start charging your phone before it hits 20%. Tip 2. Avoid charging the battery above 100%. Among the most common mistakes that may end battery life is leaving the phone in the charger to reach 100%, and then leaving it without removing the charger. Some people leave the phone to charge it overnight. It is a common habit. When your battery remains charged at 100%, it is subjected to higher stress than the high voltage, and heat builds up over time. This is a threat to people's lives, and not only reduces battery life. Therefore, it is necessary to remove the phone charger when the charging rate reaches 100%, and not leave it. So as not to affect the life of the battery. Third tip. Charge slowly if you can. Of course, fast charging techniques save a lot of time, and many people and manufacturers recommend them. But if you are intent on extending the battery life to the maximum, charge it with a slow charger. A fast charger can strain and damage your battery, especially if you have an old phone. On the other hand, charging your battery more slowly is good for it. Charging your phone through your computer or laptop can actually be a good thing. Fourth tip. Turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth if you're not using them. One of the main reasons for draining battery life is to leave Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on your phone when you are not using them. Because they drain the battery quickly. Thus, it will charge the battery at very frequent intervals, which can reach two full charges per day. This will reduce the life of the battery. Always disable Wi-Fi in case you are not using it. Because turning it off will save battery life in the long run, as well as Bluetooth. Tip 5. Manage your location services. Lots of apps these days track your phone's location to support their services, constantly scanning with a combination of GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cell tower locations for maximum accuracy. To ensure that battery life is not wasted, it is best to allow these apps to access location services only when using the app. 6. Tip: Disable your assistant. While features like Google Assistant and Siri can be really useful to have, they add to the battery drain of your phone, especially if they're constantly listening out for your voice commands. If you don't need or hardly use these features, it's best to disable them, or at least disable their Hey Siri or OK Google voice command function. Seventh tip, don't close your apps, but manage them. 
Many people think that closing applications will save battery life, but in fact closing applications does not improve battery life. Both iOS and Android systems have algorithms that automatically manage how much power or memory background apps are using. By forcing apps to close, moreover, opening a closed app uses more power than going back to an app that is already running in the background. The Android operating system lets you specify how much battery each individual app uses while running in the background. Eighth tip. Make use of smart battery modes. Android and iOS operating systems come with smart battery saver or low power mode. These are particularly useful because they automatically reduce functions that drain battery life, like CPU usage, notifications, mail fetch, and screen brightness. While these power saving modes are turned on automatically when your phone battery is low, you can easily enable it manually whenever you want. Your phone will continue to work but with a lower performance level. The ninth tip. Turn on the automatic mode of the phone's brightness. Although the screen brightness is a great thing for everyone, it represents a significant drain on your phone's battery, and therefore the increase in charging times for the battery instead of one charge per day. Turn the screen brightness to its lowest setting or turn on the automatic adjustment of screen surfaces. I hope that these tips will be useful to you in preserving your phone battery. And I hope the video is useful to you. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.